see. In your last van video, you talked about the marked souls, people who will go forward and warn other beings about about here. Can you please elaborate on, oh, okay, I just did that, 144,000. I don't know by which power they're going to operate, but for three and a half years, they're going to be immortal. They're going to be hated. The media can't, the media's not going to be able to stop them. These are people who have been given powers by which no locked doors can stop them. They can go where they want to. They can talk where they want to. They can empty hospitals out of, of, of all those who are wounded. Everywhere they go, their message is going to be heard. But by that time, which I'm thinking is almost about 12 years from now, by that time, the darkness will have overtaken humans so much that our cognitive abilities will, will, will have been stolen from us. All these walking dead zombie apocalypse video games and movies that Hollywood has put out, it's been put out for a reason. I don't know who made the rules, but there has always been a protocol where if anything is going to be introduced as a physicality, it must first be entertained mentally. It's an old hermetic principle, but Hollywood has always followed this, this bylaw. They have always released in movies very close approximations to the truth, to those who will accept it. The Adjustment Bureau, The Matrix, The Colony. There are so many good movies out there. If you were just to pay attention to the details, you will see what they're telling us. The Simulated Domes of the Hunger Games. The Maze Runner. We're in it. But in every situation, there are always people who don't believe. They don't fit in. They're not jacked into this simulacrum like others are. They have free will. They are an aberrant anomaly in this whole simulated controlled chaos. They have powers other people don't understand. And the powers I mean are the powers of intuition. Intuition is amazing. What you can do with intuition is fascinating. To be surrounded by an entire crowd of people who are all believing one thing and to sit there and hold on to a position that's antithetical to the masses because you know, you intuit. You may not be able to prove it, but you know deep inside that something is wrong. That is a spiritual power. And it means that you are marked and others are not. Because if they, if they shared the same spiritual earmarks, they too would have that intuitive spark. Intuition is not anything that can be defined by the chemical neurosis of the brain. It is entirely spiritual. And anything we feel after intuiting something is the physical bodies, the brains, just re reproducing whatever necessary cortisols and hormones and dopamines to produce the feeling that is in conjunction with what was intuited. Intuition is originality. It is imagination. Imagination and intuition are 100% spiritual powers, and if you possess those, you are marked. But you would be very surprised how few in the human family share these two qualities. Because there's nothing spiritual about them. They get up in the morning and they do every single thing that society tells them to do. And they believe everything that the media tells them to believe no matter how false it is. And they line up and they do whatever the government tells them is good for them, even though it's totally not. They live in a world where every single fact is contorted into falsity, and yet they still have no idea what they're doing. They have no intuition. They have no imagination. Therefore, they possess no mark. They are not marked by the Spirit. If you are, you will know it. Hope that answers your question.